CRC Ukraina presents Mama's Film Production. What are you looking at, punk? Well done, smart guy. Figured out that we are not taking him fishing. Say thank you to your mother. You could live, but no. Hey, hey, don't mess with me. Listen closely, Tramp. Do that again, and I'll strangle you right here. Clear? Take the tape off. I have money. I can pay. How much? Fifty. One hundred. One hundred each? Shut up. Damn. Cops. Come on, come on. Don't panic, quite. Maybe they aren't after us. Turn right. Damn. After us. Car 1494, I order you to stop. Car 1494, I order park at the roadside. Car 1494, I order park at the roadside. Attention, we're chasing a black SUV. Numbers Yegor Nikolai 1494, moving towards the M3 highway. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You are mine. Episode 3. Misha. Misha, pick up the phone. Come out! Quickly! Leo! Come here, punk. Did they just dump the bodies? Kind of nimble for corpses. What should we do? Chase the car. This won't go far. We need to get this crap out of our hands. Help! Son of a bitch! All right. Who are they? Budkos people. Do they want to kill us? Listen, Leo. Either way, we kill them or they kill us. God, I'm thirsty. I am ready to give anything for a bottle. Mom, I'm going to kill him. Do you hear? I will destroy it. All right, calm down. They will leave. Do not tear the wheelbarrow. Yeah, the fact. What if we break down and stay without a car at all? Captain Kirilenko, speak. Have you looked carefully? Okay. No, gone. What does why mean? Do I look like a wizard? I can't catch up a plane on a bike. What do they have? Nothing. They are fake. We've got nothing in the database. Hello? Listen, can you give me the number from which the call came? Tanya, please calm down. I will find him. Where have you been? I called you ten times. You didn't pick up the phone. Because the phone is on silent mode. I was in the bar. I drank booze. Wonderful. Wonderful. What if Veronica herself set everything up? I mean, this kidnapping. What if we will never see our son again? Tanya, please, I beg you, stop it. I got it. He's back. Why didn't you call us? Oh, God. Son, my baby. Mom, everything's fine. Son, my baby. Misha, do you have cash? Can you pay for the downstairs? Are you okay? Everything's fine. What do they want from you? It's fine. Yes, hello? Uh, yes, I made the call. It's all right. He just came home. Got it. 
Yes. At 10. Good. At reach night, 12. Leo and I are called to the police. Wonderful. Take it easy. I'll tell you what to say. The truth. We will tell the truth at the police station. Misha, go pay for the taxi, please. Don't tell me what to do, okay? Tanya, you have to convince him. You got it? This is for Leo's safety. Mr. Sergei, you know me. I don't mess up orders, but today something went wrong. Why did you let her go? The cops announced an interception plan. They could take us on M3. There are five posts, plus fences, so... Do you think the boy is her son? Well, I can't say for sure, but it looks like it. Oh, yes. She tried to bribe us. Really? How much? One hundred thousand each. One hundred thousand dollars. And what did you say? Of course, I refused. Well done, Vova. You showed your loyalty. And besides, she was bluffing. She doesn't have that kind of money. I have. Mr. Sergei, I won't take money this time. We... we screwed up. Really, Vova? Don't be shy. Take it. Especially if you desperately need it. You're fired. Go. He is sleeping. Why don't you eat? Don't want to. I got you. God, what have we done to deserve all this? Sanya. Maybe... just a little bit for comfort. Are you nuts? What? I have to go to the police station tomorrow. So what? Did you call Lida? Why should I? Well, to warn her that Semyonova is going to work instead of me tomorrow. Who cares who will assist me tomorrow? For real? Thank you. I'm sorry, Tanya. I was wrong. You are my one and only. Through good times and bad. Listen, Misha. You know I can't lie at all. Veronika asks me not to tell the police that she is Leo's mother. She doesn't want to expose the orphanage's principal. He had no right to give her our address. She doesn't want the principal to get exposed. Only bad things started happening in our lives after her coming. All right. If you aren't going to eat, go to bed. And about the police? Tell the truth. Anyway, it will pop up. Then you can do nothing with it. Who's that? Let's see. From Lida, Misha, I miss you very much. Simonova asks patient's name. I won't answer her. I'm sleeping. That's it. Mm -hmm. Go to bed. I'll do the dishes. Don't tell me that. Your surgery tomorrow is complicated. Have a rest. I can sleep. Don't stay up late. Okay. Vasilchenko, radicular cyst of the upper jaw. I know. Why are you awake? Jealous? 
An unexpected request, Miss Veronica. I don't know what to say. Don't stress too hard. I need a gun exclusively for peaceful purposes. Do you understand how it sounds? Listen, do you have children? Yes. A daughter, Angelica. She turned five recently. The first anniversary. Congratulations. So imagine that she is in great danger. I've already lost my son once. Do not want it anymore. Understand. I have one man. I can ask him. Come tomorrow at 10 with the money. Come, Miss Veronica. I'm sorry, Miss Veronica. That is great. See you tomorrow. Give my greetings to Angelica. My son, Leo, made a website for one company. They sell sanitary wear and don't understand what else. Apparently, this Shevchuk wanted to save money, so he hired boys. And when it came time to pay, he refused. Leo himself had to settle issues with programmers. And how did you manage? He borrowed money from my friend Veronica. Of course, we will return everything. Why didn't you ask your parents? I was scared, and they don't have that kind of money. I will earn and give everything. You claim that Leo and Veronica were kidnapped by Shevchuk's people. Yes, but why would he? It seems like you paid off the programmers. Something doesn't feel right here, don't you think? Shevchuk wanted to scare us. I threatened him. I wanted to write a police report, so he hired those criminals. So, Veronica, can you tell me more about her? Well, she is my friend. A very good friend. Have you been friends for a long time? Yes. She came to our clinic to treat her teeth two or three years ago. Since then, we are... That's it? Do you want to add something? No. No. Okay, then. So let's write it down. Tell me her first name and last name. We will talk to her. Okay. Gavrilova Veronika. Sportsman. Fitness trainer. I work at a local club. Would you like to enroll? I want you. How about taking a sick leave? It can be. <laughs> Follow me. I never thought Danya can be so jealous. After all those years, I'm envious. What? Danya is jealous of you. What do you mean? Just what I've said. I was sleeping yesterday, and I heard a beep sound. The message. My mom is in the hospital right now, so I thought something was wrong. Galia, put the latch here. It will be more convenient to have it right at hand. All right. Well? Did Tanya write to you? What was that? Well, she wrote me everything. The patient's name and diagnosis. Do you understand? She is not only jealous of you as a husband, but also as a doctor. That's something. Galia, why did you put the scalpel here? Just like always. Got it. Let's be quiet. We have surgery in ten minutes. All right. Sorry. What did you do to scalpels, Galia? We have plenty of them, Misha. Don't be like that. Let's get dressed. You are so nervous today. It's good that we only work together for one day. You will miss me. Yeah, call the anesthesiologist. Should I call the patient? Very funny. Misha, Misha. Very funny. Oh. 
Hello there. Why are you so early? How was it? Fine. They're going to call you. Who's that? Listen, I'm so hungry. Could you order me a pizza? This is getting crazy. Don't know. Who is he anyway? Sportsman. Okay. Listen, go to your room. I'll order pizza myself. Like I know where my room is. Go to the room with the balcony. If you want to change, no problem. Turn left there. Well, baby, shall we play? Here. Why are they taking so long? Did they start on time? They gonna be back soon. Where were you anyway? Did something happen? Yeah, we went on business with Leo. Did he do something again? Why do you say it? Well, because you only take time off from work, then you are called to the school. Lida, I love you, but please shut up, okay? Nikolai, hello. Tanya, dear, hi. Well, how are you? How are you doing? I had a great sleep. Your husband is a genius. Don't mention. Three hours without food, you're allowed to drink only water and small sips. Understood. Thank you. Good luck. Goodbye. Galia, hi. Hello, Tanya. How was it? Ask your precious husband. I'll change and let's go eat something. Come on, hurry up, let's go. Well, she got off. These freaks don't want to work. A decision copy has been sent to the prosecutor's office. I saw the results of the medical examination. It's clear. They're clearing up. Of course, they will try to do it. Did you speak to the director? Have they checked the volunteers? There must be something. Yeah, and the CCTV cameras are clean, too. None of the staff recognized Veronika Gavrilova. I see. They don't need problems like these. She is taking revenge on me. She's the one giving me the scrap. Unfortunately, we cannot attach her to the case. Sergey, we can do something. What's that? Increase the security of the office and other strategic objects. Good, good. I will think about it. Go and stay in touch. Tanya won't let me eat pizza. I'm fed up with her soups. Nobody eats them in America. What did she say? Nothing. She said you are her friend. I don't understand why we can't tell the police the truth. Truth? That you're my son? Too much information. They won't leave me. No. Let's tell them Sergei is the killer and he threatens us. Listen here. If Sergei is imprisoned, I won't return either my time or my money. He stole 12 years from me. I need compensation. We will become millionaires with you. What for? You already have money. Which tend to end. Your father's fortune is tens of millions. You can forget about work. What if I want to work? You're still his heir. Is it the reason to do nothing for the rest of my life? Leo, what are you talking about? All right, let's go to the lawyers. It's time. How was the surgery? Well, it was okay, but I almost killed Semenova. She's a nightmare. I admit, you are my golden assistant. Still, it is very important with whom you live and with whom you work. It's a pity that we so rarely think about it. Cheers. Thanks, Misha. Listen, it's been a while since we went anywhere. Maybe when it's all over, we'll go somewhere to the sea? Of course, why not? Let's deal with Cruella and go somewhere. Are you about Veronica? Well, who else? Didn't it seem to you like Leo loves her? 
She is his mother. It's all so complicated. Tanya, don't overthink. We're having a patient in 20 minutes. Check, please. So, what do we have? You claim that Leo Kravchuk is your son and that he's the heir of your late husband? Yes. And Sergei Budko hid him in an orphanage in order to take all the property. That's right. We need to go to the court and take everything back. You see, Veronika, things are not simple. There are several facts that need to be proven. For example... The first step is to establish paternity. Your child was adopted by another couple. He has a different last name. How do we know that Leo is the true heir to a fortune? I can confirm that. This is not enough. You need time for your husband's murder, and your parental rights were taken away. I didn't kill my husband. Budko did it. Of course. If you want, we will try to prove it. Budko will be sent to prison, and we will remove your criminal record and restore your inheritance rights. And how can we establish the fact of paternity? The easiest way is a genetic examination. We'll have to get permission to exhume the body. Are your parents aware of what's going on? You are underage, they must represent you as legal guardians. They don't know, and I don't want them to know. At least now. They are ordinary people, and I got on their nerves quite often. Don't bring them into this, that's my condition. Well, we will consider what can be done on this issue. Leo Kravchuk will not be an active subject of the process for some time. But this is another case, and it must be paid separately. Okay, I got it. Everyone here is very smart and wears expensive suits. Let's get down to business. How much? We can say. For us to start your issue, you need to make an advance payment. You can start. It's time. All the best. Goodbye. That's it. Tatiana will give you a pill. If it hurts, drink it in the evening. It was fast, thank you very much. I'm so scared, but it doesn't hurt at all. You're my hero, Mikhail. Don't forget about Tatiana. Sure, you are a very beautiful couple. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. What are you doing? We have half an hour. Are you sure? Totally. Right here? Here and now. Anastasia, which? The subscriber is unavailable. Please try again later. Thank you. Tanya won't allow me coffee. She says the teen's nervous system is under pressure even without it. Nonsense. Why are you like that? Hungry? We need to talk. Okay, baby. But not for too long. First of all, I'm not a baby. And secondly, I want to know the truth. Until that time, I won't move. Okay, baby. Sorry, I... Who is the killer? You or Budko?
But Ko poisoned your father and framed me. We were together, so it was easy for him. Why don't you want to put him in jail, as the lawyer suggested? I don't have proofs. He has an alibi. And a bunch of connections. He is stronger, at least now. Are you my mother? Yes, I gave birth to you. When I was arrested, I was deprived of parental rights. Sergei did his best. Then he signed a contract of trust management of the property. He is a distant Miran's relative and claimed 10% of everything. But he needed more, and you got in his way. I was four? Three and a half. You were left on the road near the Trinity orphanage. That's how Sergei managed to take everything from us. According to the documents, you are dead. He buried you and took your share. But what about relatives? Father must have had someone. There is only Sergei. His parents are dead. There was a cousin, but he and his wife were shot in the 90s. How did you find me? Gianna came to see me in prison. This is his driver and faithful man. He told me everything. Was he killed too? No, he died from cancer. He told me everything. I think he did not want to die knowing such a secret. So am I... Gavrilov Leo? Yes. And I'm your unlucky mother. Do you believe me now? Sorry. Get ready, let's go. Training consists of the following techniques. Holding, aiming, shooting, changing magazines, and moving with a weapon. Never direct... Wow, that's awesome! There was no command. Leave the shooting area. No problem. You stay. This boar will teach you. Yes? Hello, Misha. Listen, I feel sick. Could you bring me some pills? Blood pressure, 140 over 90. Did you call an ambulance? Please don't call the ambulance. I ask you as a friend. As a doctor, bring me the pills. And that's all. Good. Son of a bitch. Tanya, Petrovich just called me. He found something on Veronika. I'm heading to him and then back home. I bought the groceries. Love you. Good. Pais will be with potatoes. Sansanich is a good instructor. Where did you learn to shoot like that? Your father loved shooting, and he often took me with him. Thought it would be useful. Times were tough then. Did you like it? Yeah, cool. Mom, I need to see my friends. They're offended. I haven't seen them for a while. You go, and I'll be late. No problem. Hey, you probably need money. You didn't have dinner. 
Here, take it. Thanks. Thanks for coming. How are you? I had a really bad headache after work. I must have been nervous. Take this, one under the tongue. Thank you. Thank you, you are so caring. You are probably hungry. Let me cook something. Well, I love this cheese. How do you know that? And that's... I'm so stupid. Lida. Liz. You must understand, I can't leave my family. You wanted to put Leo into the system. I didn't want to put Leo in an orphanage. Don't put words in my mouth. He's my son and I love him. And your wife too? And I love my wife too. Then what was it between us? It doesn't matter. And it won't happen again. All right, now I see it. You fell in love. Shut up. The girl is beautiful. By the way, have you seen her nudes? What? Look, look. Did she post them herself? Can you believe that? She has problems with her olds, so... It's like... Like a protest. Well, what do you think? Man. Hi. Hi. Hey, I didn't quite get it. Is she hi? Well, kinda, yes. What? Why are you so nervous? By the way, where have you been? Haven't seen you for a while. He's a rich boy with cool mother now. How come you are so lucky, bastard? One more word. And what? Gonna shoot me with your golden gun? Now you know how to shoot, right? Get lost. What did you tell her? Nothing. Offered her sex? Are you out of your mind? Stop, stop! Are you nuts? Calm down. Fuck you! Get up. Are you okay? Nice, yeah. Hello? Uh, Where is Veronica? She will be back in the morning. And you are? <sighs> Your night, Nanny. How did you get in? Your mother invited me. She is cool, right? I see. Aren't you gonna ask my name? What is your name? Christina. But call me Chris. And what are we going to do? Whatever you want, except kisses and punching. I have a low pain threshold. I got it. I'll be right back. Where are you going?
продукты. Where are the groceries? You told me you had everything. Left them on the bus, made someone happy. What are you telling me? Don't start it. I feel it. Just tell me. Is Leo in danger? What did Petrovich say? I need to know the truth. He said nothing. Nothing. He had a call and left. He will tell me next time. Did you hear that? Is that Leo? Do you have any other options? Tanya, Misha. It's kind of late. I know. Go meet him. It's me. Are you sleeping? If I knew you were that hungry, I would make your favorite apple pie. I'm not hungry. Maybe a bit. You have never eaten my borscht. I underestimated it. What's wrong? Is something wrong? No. Why are you late? I missed you. But honestly... Stop it. Nastya, I am at home. What do you want? Where are you going? Home. Leo, your home is here. I'm sorry, but I have to go. It's important. But... but what? It's raining. I will be fine. Thanks for Borsh. Okay, bye. Bye. Be careful. Hi. Hi. You don't look good. Thanks, you too. That's for you. Nice. I have to tell you something. You think I'm a slut? No, of course not. Phone me if somebody calls you like that. I'll take care of them. All right. I like the way you dance. Thank you. I always dance when I don't feel good. What's wrong? Dad left us for his student. You dumped me, but not him. Shut up. Why so? She's better be ready after those photos. I wanted to make my parents mad, but the photos are gone. I deleted them. What a shame. But I saved something just for myself. Delete them. Yeah, right. Thank you. Masha. Hi, sweetheart. What a wonderful pink color. I want to go home. Where's your mom? Is she somewhere close? Do you hear me, Daddy? When can we go back? Soon, honey. Wait a little bit. Tell me, where do you swim? In the sea or in the pool? Nowhere. I don't like it here. Sweetheart, call your mom. Hi. Hello, Katya, what's wrong? Why can't you take care of the child? Anyway, what's with her hair? Everyone has pink strands here. It's popular. Sergei, you promised to solve this situation. If you want to get rid of us, just tell the truth. Stop with all this nonsense. I'll do it. I promise. You have a week. I bought tickets. We are coming back. Bitch. Huh? 
Hi. Is Leo here? Hello. No. He stopped for a moment and then left. What's the matter? You let him go? Do you understand what have you done? When did he leave? I think at midnight. Is he in danger? Shevchuk? I wish. Okay. Unless you tell us everything, you stay here. Do you need this truth? Tell us. Leo is an heir of the fortune. Now his life costs 50 million dollars, and he is missing. Who is calling you? Never mind. Don't lie. I can see Tana is calling you. Is she your girlfriend? For real? She's my mom. I didn't expect you to call your mom by her name. Still don't believe me? Nope. Okay, look. Busy. It's Leo. Son, are you okay? Yes, we were at the movies. Sorry. Where are you now? At the cinema, with Nastya. Leo, please go home right now. I wanted to stay at Veronika's place. Don't make up. Go home. I'm going to Veronika's. I promised Nastya. Okay. But right now. And stay in touch. Okay, bye. I love you. Okay, bye. See? That was ice cold. She didn't give birth to you, so what? She raised you. I don't think she likes that you call her by her name. He said he's heading to your place with Nastya. All right. Veronika, do you want to add something? Now you know everything. Wait. Yes? I'm begging you, please. Talk to Leo. Ask him to come home. It's dangerous to stay alone. All right. I'm not trying to hurt her. She's nice, but she acts like I'm five years old. That's the problem. Let's go walk. But Tanya asked you to go home. Who cares? The weather is awesome. <laughs> Tanya? Hmm? You know what? Maybe we should sell our apartment. What do you mean? And what's next? We should take Leo and start everything from scratch. It's impossible. We have jobs and Leo goes to school. We'll find another job in a new school. It's not a big deal. Misha, what's going on? Petrovich called me. Veronika is lying. They found out that she killed her husband to inherit all his money. She is found guilty. But she told us she was set up. Who do you trust more? She's a criminal. Oh, God. I'm not done. What else? She might kill another person, Butko's mother. The old lady was in the nursing home, uh, Rose Residence, and... Uh, oh, my God. Petrovich advises us to disappear because nothing can stop people like Veronika. There is a lot of money. I'm scared. We need to call Leo and tell him to go back. Don't call him. We will be careful. He comes home, and we will talk to him.